<laughs> I'm filming. So these valves, guys, they're really, they're, they're different. They're not what I'm used to. So I, I think I've set them, but they're really sprung. So look, you, you've really got to put a lot of pressure on. The spring on them is so strong. Uh, and I feel like it shouldn't be that strong because even when you're adjusting them, it takes a lot of pressure to lift them to then adjust them. It probably is right, but it makes it harder to adjust because you just can't kind of work out. So at the moment, we're not sure if the valves are adjusted and we're not sure if it's in time. And uh, I think this is the stuff that's going to cause the most issues at the moment. But saying that, I'm going to put some fresh fuel in and the cob's been cleaned and I'm just going to turn it over. I'll try using spray and you, you never know. It might fire up and sound good and better. It, it, it may not. Uh, I'm not 100% sure the valves are right. Again, look, I have to put a lot of pressure to lift them, but you can hear. I think they're set properly. What I'm not sure is if the timing is, is properly. It could be one tooth off. Very, very hard to work out. But let me set you up. Let me get some fuel in there, and we'll at least turn it over and see what happens. All right, let's see. Just, I don't know. We'll try without a bit of spray. We'll try with some spray. Seems almost sounds a little happier. Yeah, a little spray chunk. Uh, hang on, let's just see because uh, there is fuel in there. Might do it on its own. Nope. All right, I'll try a bit of spray just out of curiosity because it might just help it. Maybe I need to restrict the airflow, I bet it's that. Let me see actually if I can do that. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I can get the car, but it sounds exactly as it did though, doesn't it? Alright guys, the truth is when you've um when you've got spark and you know you've got fuel because for example you're spraying some in then actually it's only timing or compression that's left uh, we don't know we don't know who rebuilt this engine that's the truth we don't know if they did it correctly and the only way to tell is by doing a compression test so uh, Daniel you'll be pleased to know we're gonna get a compression test out of this wide open full and as long as it's kind of up at the 130s, 40s, 50s, then we'll carry on looking at timing. If it's lower, we know we're screwed. Right. Let's have a look. Wide open throttle. Oh, we need power. Cut. 
wide open throw. I think 65 psi in the uh, in the engine tells you everything you need. That engine was never going to start. The piston's been done badly. It's well, at this stage. It's it's a engine rebuild. Yeah. Do you know what? That is the same engine. Use that engine. Put it in there. You could do an engine swap with that, but... It's not, look, that engine's fine, it's the standing game. Um, that was wide open throttle, guys. It's very, very clear that that, I mean, that's ridiculous. We should have been up here. Um, it wasn't carrying any more. I mean, I can do it again for peace of mind. We're still hooked up. Let's just, uh, let's just double check that. So, I am doing wide open throttle down here. So wide open throttle, ignition on, ready. Yeah, it's very clear, very, very clear. All right, well, at least we know there's no point messing with everything else. Um, it needs uh, an engine rebuild. Uh, that's the thing, uh, the last owner mark, it's not, an, it's not a mark issue. It's, it's what was given to Mark, and when you get loads of parts like that in a bag, you've always got to kind of assume, or know, or consider that, that the rebuild may not have gone well originally. This probably needs either new piston rings, or, um, or a whole new kind of cylinder and piston and head. I'll think about what, you can get 150 kits for this, um, but I'll think about that. I might start dropping the, uh, taking the engine apart now anyway, out of kind of curiosity. You can have seized rings, and you can have rings that have been put on the wrong way if you get very lucky, but I don't know enough about engine rebuilds to be able to do that really. I kind of just get the new kits and I follow the instructions and put them in and then fire them up. This is Rajab. I'm doing some nuts. <laughs> Losing all the bolts. I'm not losing no bolts. This is how you wiggle the stub. Alright right, guys, just to show you what we're doing. We spent four hours stripping an engine and four hours changing a tyre. <laughs> um, I went to a local shop, this is my sister's scooter. I asked them to put in one inner tube and change over one tyre. We have a new tyre. Guess how much? You'll never guess. Drop it in the comments. Actually, don't bother, I'm going to tell you anyway. 65 quid. 65 quid to put in one new inner tube and swap over a tyre for a new one. Come on, you guys. Shocking. Uh, over here, I'm stripping the engine down. The problem is, right, this head unit won't come off because the frame above. That leaves you with options. Options like dropping the engine. That's not the end of the world, except it's uh, it's weighty. Or um, you can strip the head bolts here, and it, as in, look, I, am I pulling? Ah. So you so basically you tighten two bolts down here, and then you tighten them together, nip them up together and then you undo the bottom one and it should extract the whole bolt top to bottom, I think. So I'm gonna attempt that now. 
and then I'll try and switch to the other side. Uh, extracting these nuts is difficult guys. I think I'm going to drop the front of the engine. I'm going to put a jack under. I mean probably not today, probably tomorrow. But I'm going to drop the engine a little bit just to clear that bar to lift the head. That's and So it would be taking off these two bolts and these bottom ones. And uh, just pivoting it down a touch. That's kind of all we can do here really because you can't remove the head. Uh, like this you can drop the whole engine but again uh, what would it be then it'd be this rear mount here um, and one down there actually I think I just need it to pivot a touch to remove that and then we'll be able to move the um, cylinder itself and have a look at the older piston and rings and then we can shape it up and see what we need for a new one basically uh, I'm really surprised someone messed around with heads. Again, I don't think it was Mark. I think it was the person before um, without doing a comp compression test. Um, it's almost guaranteed that you'd uh, strip down into this engine and there's piston issues. It could be uh, snapped rings, stiff rings. It could be anything like that. But the compression was ridiculously low. So um, for now, that's kind of it. It will be tucked this away, cover it up and tomorrow if I've got the energy I'll look at the uh, Lex motor again but I do want to get this stripped down first so I'll probably start with this and switch to the other one Get set! Go! He's going! <laughs> Mine's faster! <laughs> Nice, good, it's